Hello, this is Chef Rob and Chef Paul with Kitchenary Basics. Today we have another video of something just very basic and very simple that you can make in your own home, in your own kitchen, that takes absolutely no time at all. It's the most fantastic homemade popcorn. That's right, the most fluffy, the most buttery, just the right amount of seasonings and the right amount of saltiness. So what you want to start with are your popcorn kernels, your oil, I'm using canola oil, you can use vegetable oil, saffron oil, olive oil, but I wouldn't suggest using olive oil. You've got popcorn salt and popcorn white cheddar seasoning. What I'm going to do is measure out a half cup with the kernels. What do you got going on, Ooh, Paul? That's hot. What is that? That's homemade popcorn. That's correct. That's what I'm making. Well, I was making it this way. Well, this the is oil. the right way to make it, Rob. Look at this. Mm, I don't know, Paul. I don't know about that now. Let me, that smells funny. Well, let me tell you about this. This is the best way to make perfect homemade popcorn. It all depends on the microwave, and it all depends on your microwave skills. And let me tell you a little bit of background here about this. This here is 1100 watt microwave, okay? At home, you may be dealing with more like an 800, 900 watt microwave. Screw that. What you need is a high powered microwave. You need to listen. When the pops get between one and two seconds between the pops, you need to pull that sucker out and you know it's done. You notice I got a minute and 21 seconds left on this thing? I knew when to stop it. Now let me give you a little bit of background on the watt here. Your wattage of your microwave is very important. Like I say, it ranges from 900 800, 1100, sometimes like 80 million. So Depends. But what you've got here is an 1100 watt microwave. Now, Wikipedia tells us that a watt is one joule per second. Wikipedia also tells us that a joule is a precious stone. So now you understand wattage, Rob. <laughs> I think I've got it. I think, how many seconds did you say between each pop? One to two seconds between pops only. If it gets any wider, you end up with this. Good lord, that looks burnt like burnt popcorn. Mm, I don't want to say what that. Anytime looks like. this looks like garbage, we're throwing it away. This is what you're looking for. This is ideal. What you have here is a perfectly perfectly popped kernel of corn. It's got just the right amount of salt and butter. It's just popped right. It's not overcooked. It's not undercooked. If it gets undercooked, it can get lodged in your throat and injure you. Just right. <laughs> Would you Let like to try? try? Yes, sir. Not too bad. Yeah. That's not bad, Paul. Let me try some. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that is good popcorn. What is on now? Does that have some kind of extra seasoning? It's almost a sugar texture to it. There's something, there's something sugary about it. I can't. I don't know what's on that right now. Mm. I know it's not popcorn salt or popcorn seasoning white cheddar because we didn't get to use that. Well, I think that was probably the right call. Well, uh, anyway, we're gonna go with that today since you've made it. We appreciate everyone being here today. This is Chef Rob and Chef Paul with Kitchenary Basics. We'll be back next week with another basic homemade video that you can use with absolutely no time at all. Thanks for being here. If you like this video, please click the like button and the subscribe button and please send it to all your pals. Thanks again. Thanks guys. How to the basics of kitchenery. <laughs> you want to roll with that? <laughs> yes, that's perfect.